So this is the first look at the 1982 Helms 24. We took a look at this in Pennsylvania. Overall, we really liked it. We ended up buying this one. But we'll walk you through some of the stuff of the, what we saw the first day. Pretty standard over here on the right. There's a little cubby, and then down in here is where the batteries are. All the electronics are up against the back there, all the wiring. Lots of storage down here in the middle part. Looks pretty good, other than a little cleanup. Taking a look over here at the other side, we have another storage compartment. This one actually leads into the inside of the boat. I believe you can use it as a place for someone to, an additional person to sleep. No mattress in it right now. As we head on down inside the boat, you can see over to the side, there's a little kitchenette and two settees. Everything looks fairly nice. So this is that same storage compartment where you can have a place for someone else to sleep. And back here is just more storage. Chain plate coming through right there. Small storage spot. Got a nice little sink. Has some, don't know what's going on there. I need to sand that. Looks like maybe it had some rot in there. Someone tried to repair. All this strange. Over here is a little two burner alcohol stove we need to replace. This is a great looking ice box. Seems to be cleaned out. It's really deep though. A little storage, more storage. This is where you can have another person sleep with their feet up underneath the stove. That's one of the seacocks down there. Over here is a little bit of storage with the other seacock to the other sink. So both sinks drain on this one side. So what we can see along here is there's some water damage, especially down right there at the bottom. All well, that was pretty rod rotten. The beam actually doesn't, it's pretty solid. It, this is the bilge. And more storage. No seacocks on this side at all. Multiple ways to get into this storage. And more storage up here. For a 24 foot boat, it seems to have quite a bit of storage. And we'll come back to that when I take the ladder off. Moving back here is the bathroom area. We have a sink here. And then uh, under the sink, which I need to put some handles on there, but under the sink we have more storage. Not a lot, but a little bit of play space there. On the other side would be where a porta potty goes, and it actually has a sliding door, which I have, which slides across to give you some privacy. And in the back there, you could hang some clothes behind the toilet area. Not a lot of space, but for a little porta potty, it's not bad. We have the other drawer for that. So this is the V berth. Um, that's the water storage tank. Um, some of the sensors down there in the backs of the drawers. So this is about a six foot long V berth, about five and a half foot wide. This is some of the holes that were in the roof where they run wires through. A little bit of a crack in the fiberglass under there. So we come back up, we'll take a look at this. This is that storage compartment from before. I heard there was a model that actually had a motor that you could buy in here so this leads to a ton of extra storage. I think I'm going to end up putting my batteries down there. So 
So then we'll go take a look at the outside. Go up on deck here. This is really nice. It has that non-slip gel coat pretty much covering the whole boat. So we knew going into this that underneath the mast there was some soft spots and you can see where someone when I get back around to it someone drilled and uh, just caulked around the holes which pretty much let water get in. So that's going to have to be dealt with. You can see right there where they drilled through the holes. I mean, caulking works for a little while, but sitting out in the sun, it doesn't last. But all in all, it's in pretty good shape. On now we'll go down below, take a look. Nice little swim ladder was on the back. Bottom definitely needs to be sanded off and repainted. You can kind of see the, well, there's the through holes there, but you can see the joint on the leaded keel. So I think we'll, I don't think it is a problem with water getting through. We'll just probably seal the edges before we paint it. And this is the trailer with the surge brakes and everything. So we do look up under here. I got to deal with whatever that sensor, why it's got so much caulking or on it. Deal with that. And that's pretty much it. This was what we saw when we were looking at it. And there was nothing there that we didn't think we could handle, so... We went on ahead and brought it home a couple months later.